and east of I-75, departing our area. Some patches of clouds, as mentioned, still left over as our front is making steady progress through the area. And this will sweep all the way through and allow a drying trend to take hold. High pressure well to the west, a little bit of moisture still contained up in the Tennessee Valley, and some of that can maybe influence the amount of cloud cover we have in some neighborhoods for tomorrow. But not everybody will have the same extent of cloud cover. In fact, there's still strong confidence that over the next several hours to come, we won't have many clouds around and we'll have a light northwest breeze that will transport that dry air. That helps to break up the clouds and causes a bright sunrise for your Saturday morning. So if you have some volunteer work to do in the morning, uh, be aware that we'll have temperatures right around the upper 40s to near 50, but a steady warm-up supported by maybe a temporary wind shift becoming more west, but that still brings in the dryness and it keeps the sunshine going through midday. Into the afternoon, that's when we can see enough warming and some of that moisture across the Tennessee Valley that can maybe cause a few clouds to form in areas around I-75, Alapa River, Okefenokee, and the Suwannee River Valley. So that's where we're going to see maybe just a couple clouds, but nothing much to really block the sun any extensive amount. Those come and go. High pressure comes closer into your Sunday morning, and that will allow us to cool down once again. So your evening, if you have the fire pit, you can safely light a fire. It's going to be pretty ideal. The winds will be decreasing through the evening tomorrow as will the temperature. 60s turn into 50s. The later you wait, the 40s are more likely to show up and the winds will be calmer around 2 to 6 miles per hour. The high is right on top of us on Sunday, so if I had to pick a day that would be the best, I'd say go for either one, but I'll say Sunday because that's when we can have the broadest amount of sunshine without too many clouds getting in the way and even tomorrow again not a big worry but that high moves out on monday and tuesday so south winds resume bringing in moisture we'll have our next system in this overall trail of atmospheric motion and that will bring up our cloud coverage into your tuesday and wednesday time frame tonight expect lows in the mid to upper 40s and highs tomorrow ranging from about 68 to 73 that's right smack dab at average breezes are up a bit for boaters west northwest winds 12 to 22 knots through the morning, not much of a decrease in the afternoon and seas around four to five feet. So use caution if you're using small craft out there. Warmer temperatures into next week, especially for morning lows. We'll get closer to 50 by midweek and some scattered showers return by late Wednesday.